Hello everyone. So for today, uh, we will be installing OBS Studio no to our MacBook Air M1 chip. So just open your browser and search for OBS no and then in the first website or site you may click it that or just go to the download and then it will automatically select the Mac OS since this is a Mac no? you can change it uh, depending on what installer you want to download since this is already Mac the website detected it and it gives us the version of the installer so you can download the installer here or uh, download it via BitTorrent there or github or really so we, we just need to download click the download installer and then wait for it to be downloaded so this may take few minutes depending on your internet connection again guys so once finish na siya download you may go to your finder and then downloads and then you will have here the uh, installer you can also double click it and then drag double click and then drag nyo lang ganyan tapos nandito na siya ayan so the OBS is already installed and we can already uh, run it no? and start our recording so once uh, you can eject the installer to remove it from the from your desktop no Ayan. so click nyo lang launchpad and then install give your um credentials no and that's it you already have the OBS studio here so OBS and app downloaded so you just click open then open system preference to allow so you need to allow the privacy here unlock this one then put your credentials and then okay cancel uh, make sure you allow this one and then you can lock this again then there you have it so you already installed the OBS studio successfully then you can already add the layers and the things that you needed now so let's add some display capture and then I think uh, yeah so we need to it was the privacy was not successfully uh, uh, updated so quit and reopen So, yeah, and there you have it now. You already have the uh, OBS Studio installed. So again, um, you just need to go to your browser, download the, go to search for the OBS, then download the Mac installer. And then once downloaded, you can drag it to the launchpad to be installed or the applications no or just double click the installer and then uh, install it then once it's already installed you can eject the file here in your desktop to remove it from your desktop and then go to your system preference uh, make sure to allow the OBS studio uh, in the privacy settings no and then there you have it you can already use the uh, OBS
OBS. So here is the private security and privacy. Then here you can go to the privacy tab and then you see the application enabled. So that's all for this um, tutorial. I hope you learned something. If you have any questions, you may put it in the comment section and subscribe to my next for my next tutorial. No? And thank you guys.